Hey everybody, figured I'd take a minute to show you all my solar setup. It's in flux. It's installed. Um, these are both supposed to be 1.2 kilowatt setups. Um, so theoretically I have, you know, 2400 watts, but um, that's at full efficiency. I'd say when everything's running good, sun's out, I get about somewhere around 18, 1900. Um, these are from a company called EcoWorthy. This is a tracker, so these things do track. Um, again, this is, this is a hack of a setup right now. Got batteries sitting in here, run things. Uh, I'm sorry, run the motor. Got solar panels on the batteries. That um, forgot what you call it, but basically that little wind sensor has a little generator in it that generates electricity, and that's how it basically determines at a certain voltage that the wind is too high. Uh, and it will, at that point, these things will go back to their a flat position so that they don't catch the wind. Um, so that's the that's the panel setup. I got to re, I, I just got to clean all this stuff up. Um, and then these panels, I'll I'll show you the the wiring goes underground, and I'll show you where that goes to. All right. Things are still a mess out here. Um, I've just had so much rain since I bought this place while I'm trying to build stuff and it's very hard to do um, when you're underwater and in mud the whole time. But this is my temporary setup anyway. Uh, I'll walk you through some simple stuff. I mean, this is just a fan. I've got a kind of a whole homemade filter system behind that. It's just this is just for cooling. Uh, the those panels come in here. So this is my solar input. You can actually do up to 600 volts. Uh, right now, what I got coming in is around 220. This inverter here is a hybrid. It's able to. It's got a battery charger in it, um, and it's also able to invert. So, and it has a. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? It's basically got a switch, transfer switch. Um, so I've got power coming in here when I need it. It's off of a generator. This comes in, comes into the mains end, and then the batteries here. I've got. I guess right now I've got 12 batteries. They're, they're three sets of parallel, I'm sorry, series batteries in 48 configuration, 48 volt configuration, and then they're set up in parallel. So each of these is, each row is basically 48 volts, and then they're in parallel hill here, come in. Um, and then this is, this is just output, so I've got various things running out of that. Yeah, I have plans. When I built this, I didn't build it here. I built it off-site and had big plans to actually water cool this thing and do some cool stuff. I don't really need it yet, although I may in the summer. Um, but it's been a little bit of a trick getting this thing tuned. Uh, we've got you know, if we look at this like right now, we're sitting at, we're only getting like, this is the solar, we're getting 0.6 amps in from the solar. I'm using 1.6, 1.7, and the, this is hooked up to an RV, which is probably most of the refrigerator, maybe some battery chargers, network equipment, stuff like that. And then the battery right now is using 2 amps. Now, 
gets a little confusing because these two amps are coming off 48 volts uh, while these 1.78 are at 120 volts um, or 110 and whatever so that's basically you got 2.6 I'm sorry you got six amps coming in at like 220 volts 0.6 and then you got two amps in, at 48 volts and put all that together with uh, the loss from lines and all that and that's that's where you sit so anyway um, that's how I'm set up right now I do have problems with it of various sorts which I will bring up on a later video but that's my system I do run the generator every once in a while not not every day especially if it's sunny and I am in central Texas where it's I mean right now it's only getting up to 95 um, there's other parts of the country right now they're way hotter uh, I'm in a cool zone for once but anyway it does it does good so more to come